Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon, just in case you don't know. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing an eye look using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I had a little bit of trouble with this palette. I think because my skin, my eyelids are so dry, the eyeshadow, it is pigmented, but it wasn't really sticking to my eyes very well. So I went out to Walmart yesterday and I picked up this hard candy eyeshadow primer and I tried it out last night and it actually works really good for applying this eyeshadow so I suggest that if you have dry skin or dry eyelids that you use a really good eyeshadow primer because it's not going to stick very well although it is pigmented it won't stick to the eye very well so if you want to see what kind of look I create with this palette then just stick around Okay, so just in case you're not familiar with the palette, I will show you all the colors. They're very pretty, very vibrant. Not really sure what look. I think I'm gearing towards like a orange and red. It's calling my name today for some reason. I think because I saw Kathleen Light's video today and she had like this orangey thing going on. So I figured, you know what, maybe I'll try that. Even though I don't have the exact same palette that she has, I still have a palette with plenty of different colors. So I'm going to start with this light orange right here. I'm kind of thinking, should I go into some yellow? No, I'm not even going to touch any yellows today. I'm just going to go start with this color here first with my Luxie 205. I'm actually super in love with this um, palette now that I have the primer because I figured foundation would work, or not foundation, sorry, concealer would work just as good because that's normally what I do use. But because my skin is so dry, the eyeshadows didn't want to stick. It's sticking nice right now and I also did set the primer with a little bit of powder as well and it's still sticking very nicely okay so then I'm going to go into my Luxie 229 with this orange color right here it's like between it's between the red these two colors here it's like these two colors mixed together but I'm going to go into this one And I'm just taking it a little lower than the crease color. It's sticking very nicely. I do understand that it is winter and a lot of people tend to go towards warmer shades, which is fine. But I figured I would create this look for people who still like to stick with the colorful looks, even in the winter time. So now I'm going to go into this red color right here, into my outer V. I'm concentrating most of the color there. And then I'm going to drag it slightly into the crease. Okay, so I'm going to take that first brush that I used the orange for in my crease. I'm not adding any more product, I'm just blending out the edges. And now for the this inner portion right here that you see that has no product on it, I'm going to be using this blank palette and I'm going to go into I think I'll go into this really light shade. It's kind of like a, I'll put it on my finger. It's kind of like a creamy gold sort of color. And then I'm going to use this brush to apply it. This is a brush that I got from my friend Melissa. It doesn't have a name on it. She bought me a whole bunch of brushes, but they don't have names on them. And I'm just going to apply that. to this inner portion here. 
I should have done a half cut crease. Probably would have been really pretty. You can kind of create a half, a half crease, a half crest, I was going to say, a half crease look without the concealer. You don't necessarily need concealer. Okay, and now I'm just going to use this brush, not adding any more product. And I'm just lightly sweeping it between these two shades so it doesn't look like a line. So now I'm going to go into this dark orange right here. And I'm just using a pencil brush and I'm applying that color to the lash line. And then I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to go into this lighter shade and put it just under that, that color. And now to soften that up, I'm just going to use this 237, I believe it is. Yes, this is the 237 Luxie. And now I'm going back into that light goldy color shade and I'm going to put that on my inner corner and in the arch of my brow. It's such a pretty color, it's almost like Rodeo Drive. Okay, so now that the other eye is done, I'm just going to go into the waterline with this eyeliner called Hikari. I got it in my Ipsy bag a while ago, I believe. Like a while ago, almost a year ago. <laughs> and just in case you guys don't know, I always put in my description box everything that I'm wearing on my face in the video. So if you want to refer back to that later, that's perfectly fine. The information will be there for you. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying a wing, and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Felt Tip Eyeliner. I've been using this for a while. By the way, you guys, just to update you, this Hard Candy Felt Tip Liner sucks. Don't buy it. It's cheap for a reason. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm going to buy it. It's cheap. No harm in trying it, right? Well, I just wasted five bucks. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and create a wing. Okay guys, so I applied the wing and now I'm just going to take this brush again that I used for my lash line and I'm just going to smudge a little bit in the lash line where some of that eyeliner got on the lashes. Now it's time for concealer. I do put in a little bit of concealer on the sides of my nose right there because my glasses leave these marks just in case you're curious. <laughs> And I will use my Real Techniques complexion sponge. Okay, so now I am going to use my Luxie 512 and my Maybelline Fit Me Loose setting powder to set under the eyes. 
really everywhere I put the concealer. And now I'm using my Real Techniques fluffy powder brush just to set the rest of my face. Now, using my trusty IBY Highlight and Contour Palette, I'm going into this shade right here with my BMX 130 Pointy Blush Brush, but I like using it for the contour. And now I'll be going into my Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush. Okay, so now that the winged eyeliner is done, I went off camera and I applied top lashes and mascara to my bottom lashes. Now I need to add a highlighter and then we will do the lips. So I'm going to be using my Rodeo Drive, of course. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to apply lipstick. I'm not 100% sure about this lipstick. It's a neutral color. It's a nude color. So, I don't know. Let's try it out. I think it's perfect. Okay guys, so now that the lips are done, I just want to put this out there. This look is inspired by Kathleen Lights. This isn't the exact look that she did, but it is inspired by her. I just wanted to say that. But I really like the way it turned out. I hope you guys liked it too. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.